sponsored by GeForce Now. Again, if you're unfamiliar with what GeForce Now is, it is a service where you can play games on most any device, including there's some TVs, some consoles, some mobile devices, even PCs, where you can play games on a server, but on that stream to your PC. Um, and they're very high-end PCs, and there's almost no lag. There's very high quality graphics on the um, games themselves. And you don't have to buy the games individually. They're the games you already own. So like if you link your Steam account, your Epic account, etc., and it, you can play the games you already own on uh, GeForce Now without having to buy it again, you know, for, for example. Um, they also have lots, lots and lots of free-to-play games, and it's a great way to like play nice games on a device that normally wouldn't be able to play it or if you got like an old pc you can play games on a, uh on a device there they even have new games every thursday this is geforce now thursday if you type exclamation point gfn in uh chat you can see the link you can try it absolutely free you get a um a medium tier uh pc and then you get to play an hour at a time and you can try it out see how it runs on your system um they also have levels of membership um, if you want to, you can pay the, I think it's $40 for six months, uh, $50 for six months, um, one, or I think it's $10 a month, or, um, you can get the new one, the 3080, uh, level of tier, which lets you play games at 1440p up to 120 frames a second on a RTX 3080 card, NVIDIA RTX 3080. Um, but they just launched a new service and we're going to be playing on that service today. To show you their uh, top end thing, and what the game we'll be playing today is a newly launched Jurassic World um, um, Evolution Two, which um, just came out, and also just came out on GeForce Now. They like to um, tie in a lot of the new releases onto um, GeForce Now. It's not every game, but you know a lot of them, a lot of the good ones. They try to get the hyper ones. So let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, we're currently playing um, not on our PC. We're playing on GeForce Now. Um, streaming to my PC. Um, you can click the link below the channel or in chat at the point G, uh, GFN command to check out the uh, service for yourself. But we're going to go ahead and jump in right now and check out this game and see how she is. I like the first one. Ah, that classic universal music. Iconic. Iconic. Ah, uh, Raging Punk, thank you for gifting the gift subs. I'll do that right now. Oh, yeah. 20 gift subs for chat, Dead H. Woo! Hell, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and... Whoa. I, what did I do? I clicked too quickly. I think I actually launched the sandbox. Oops. I double clicked. What's cool, the 3080 um, tier membership is you can tweak all the settings. I think they unlock just about everything. You can tweak it to be how you want. It's like having your own little PC. But it's in the cloud, which is awesome. Uh, let's go back to the menu. Click the wrong thing. Alright, so let's do a campaign. Jurassic World. <gasps> Jeff Goldblum. This, this is where our story begins. The scientific breakthrough any consideration of the consequences. So nature did what it does and unleashed chaos. This time we were deeper into the illusion of control and the chaos brought something much worse. And for a moment we remembered how precious life is. Time 
has a funny way of softening our memory of what it's like to lose control. And ambition. Ambition is a persistent thing. For the dinosaurs left behind, time was becoming immaterial. From miracles of science to assets destined for exploitation. Perhaps it's time we reflect on the true nature of nature. An endless cycle with one goal. Oh, survival. That's huge. And this means that dinosaurs and humanity have to find a way to work out their differences. Chat, don't buy a raptor as a pet. It's not a good one. I'm sorry. It's just... It's not... It, you're just asking for trouble at that point. Just don't. To us, a desert is a wasteland devoid of anything but the most extreme examples of life. But creatures once thrived in these lands hundreds of millions of years ago. Given the geological history that we're dealing with, dinosaurs walking among the tumbleweeds isn't that much of a stretch. The current situation, where dinosaurs are running wild, is untenable to those in charge, well, those that think they're in charge. So we're left with a problem or an opportunity. This is where you come in. They've oh. ignored my warnings before, but maybe this time with you, it's going to be different. <laughs> I'm willing to embrace the uncertainty. <laughs> no. No. It's never different. It's always the Okay, same. I guess an introduction is in order. I'm Cabot Finch, this, Assistant Director of the U.S. Department of Fish here. and Wildlife. I know it sounds important. Because it is. <laughs> but let's not get bogged down in labels and titles and organizational flowcharts. I'll make this easy. You work for me. See? Nothing to it. <laughs> You'll be working with the experts. This is Claire Deering and Owen Grady. And yes, we have first-hand experience with the dinosaurs. I'm the former operations manager at Jurassic World. Owen and I actually helped build the park. And unfortunately, we were there to witness its destruction. And this is Owen. He works with Velociraptors. You could call me a dinosaur wrangler, though officially I'm an animal behaviorist. I was just building a level of trust with them when this happens. Okay. So we'll need to get a few things in place ASAP. I don't ASAP. think that's... What's his name? Start with a response facility, equipped with both a Ranger Team 4x4... And a Capture Team helicopter. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that that is, um, that is Chris Pratt. Uh, Ranger teams monitor dinosaur welfare and make parks repairs. Capture tranquilizers, uh, see tranquilizers, dinosaurs was ready for relocation. Place it in that area. Hold on. Sure, it lines up with that corner. We are making excellent progress, so let's stay focused. Next step, building a backup generator, then feeding the energy it creates to the response facility, and also make sure the building is connected to the path network. It only does us good if it's operational. Okay, well, let me... Get all that worked out. Hey, Claire. We may have trouble tracking this dinosaur from the ground, and even more trouble if we're lucky enough to find it. Then, the sensible thing is to take a capture team helicopter. You can trank it from the air. See? I like the way I think. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, hello. I'm in control of this. Oh. Aim mode R. Uh, locate prior to dinosaurs in the surrounding area by using the compass at the top of the screen. Uh, pro status when you use R to switch to aim mode. Uh, while aim mode, uh, 
Shots fired, train starts. Well, that's cool. Now we get to go find him. And capture him. Alright, check. Nailed it. Nailed it again. Oh, yeah. He's down. Claire, this is Owen. I copy you. We have it. Capture successful. I knew you'd do it. Never had a doubt. Really? No. Well, maybe one or two? Well, it's better than usual. I'll take it. Now, where do we take this dinosaur? We have the enclosure. We just need you to deliver. Hey, don't I always? Wait, uh, transfer you him from to here that. to. I'm guessing we're delivering into here. Asset collection request received. Uh, time controls, pause, blah, blah, blah. Three, skip the process of the child transport. Modern use of soda time and ensure problems you feel you don't get out of hand. Again, I'm not playing this on my PC, guys. I'm playing this on GeForce John Now. Was concerned the new about what would happen uh, RTX 3080 lived uh, in the wild. membership tier program. It adds a whole new level of challenge. And perhaps, opportunity. Uh, Jet, don't be Dan W, okay. Please. Asset has been transported. All right. Hi there. Whew, I instantly recognize this dinosaur. Kind of hard to pretty. forget once you've been trapped in a room with one. We couldn't save that Baryonyx, but we can certainly help this one. Being Dan W is quite Dan Root, just saying. There's not a lot out there for the dinosaur to consume, so we'll need a feeder inside the perimeter of that enclosure. Okay. Hungry dinosaurs make me nervous. Can't disagree with you there. True. Ooh, they changed this interface. So a feeder. It, is this a privis? Oh, it's a fish feeder. Ooh. Okay. Let's put it um right here. -ish. You put little fishies in there. That's cool. I don't know how they're going to say that. Wait, what did Dan say he's playing this on? Playing this on GeForce Now, which is a service that you Good can to go play on this PC Copy. games Okay. We need to get a full assessment of the dinosaur's like health. Mobile, um, Utilize a ranger team vehicle. Your phone. Owen will help you get a PC. status of the animal's overall welfare. Then we can plan our next move. We really need that. A plan? I mean... I've always been more of a just make it up as I go kind of guy. Tell you what, if this doesn't work, we'll try your way. Mm, that sort of sounds like a plan. Ranger teams provide the latest dinosaur welfare information by a status check. Construct ranger posts to inside your closure so they can cover all your species. Iron teams can be assigned to patrol dinosaur uh, and periodic status check all dinosaurs in range. You feel lag? Uh, actually, no. That was the most surprising thing. The thing I was worried about the most is that I thought there'd be like input lag and stuff. But I say it's just about the same as playing on a wireless controller. It's almost not. Almost can't tell it's there. So, perform a status check on the. Oh, that guy. Right, not good. Hi. He's missing rock. While we can't replicate what we had on the islands, we still have to do what we can to get the dinosaurs more comfortable with their current surroundings here in Arizona. Sunscreen okay. and drinks by the pool? How's that sound? Are you seriously asking? Or pretend asking? Okay, Claire. How about we add some preferred terrain to their pens instead? Better? That he would like a rock, so let's... Add a rock or two around here. He, uh... 
missing rock. We should have a rock now. He's got water. He's got security. Oh, it's going up. So, yeah, he's trying to need even more rocks. Let's put some in the water, even. And put one over here. Is that enough rocks, sir? Yep, he's happy. I like rocks. I like rocks, too. I like to just stare at rocks all day and be like, Hi, rock. Hey there. I'm like, you rock. Rock. Start to rage your We've post. We've got to monitor these dinosaurs more closely. That means setting up a ranger post inside their enclosure. It sounds crazy, I know, but this will work. Trust me. Set up a ranger post in the enclosure. Huh. Well. We'll put it where it covers all of the enclosure. Which is right there. No ranger team assigned. Assigned a ranger team. Let's see. How do I assign you a ranger team? Yo, let's see. Emergency shelter. Rival point. Ranger team. Um. Add task. There we go. You do that. I'm getting reports of dinosaurs running freely around the facility, Claire. What? The reports may be accurate, but they don't paint a complete picture of our current status. Angry dinosaurs on the loose. What am I missing? They're not angry. They're simply acting on instincts. The more threatened the dinosaurs feel, the more hostile they'll become. Especially if they sense survival is at stake. But it is. Mm, Both steak. theirs and ours. Yeah, but only we know that. Well, for now, anyway. We'll start by tranquilizing one of the dinosaurs from the helicopter, and then have a transport team bring it back to the facility. Great. Do it. Ah, uh, steak. Delicious. Localize and tranquilize nearby wild triceratops. Okay. Let me, uh... Take control of this guy. Yep, uh, steak is very dandru. Mmm, delicious. Yeah, are those triceratops? They are. Okay. Alright, let's see. Let's go down a little bit more. Get a little bit better aim here. Nailed it. Nailed it again. Nailed it. Uh oh, he's running. Damn him, he's running. Okay, this guy. Missing. Got him, that one. Start. Okay, he down. Get the other one. Okay, got him. It's twenty thousand dollars a tranquilizer shot, so that was fine. That's fine. Oopsie. I'm kidding. It's probably not. In real life, it would be very expensive to just keep firing constantly. 
Hmm. Well, you know, construct new enclosure and transport the Triceratops inside of it. Hmm. Fences. Right, well, I guess we we'll keep. I don't know how much space they need, so, but I'll make a. I'll make a decent size cage here. Okay, let's try to eyeball this to get it nice and straight. That build music, though, that is just very, very s sensual. Just nice. Very nice. All right, let's um, transport our friends. Okay, deliver you guys there. Asset requiring collection. He's not an asset. He has a name, ma'am. Acknowledging asset collection request. Heading to collect the asset. His name is TRC003-7. Please call him by his proper name. Thank you. Okay, let's speed up a little bit. Commencing asset transit. Transit has commenced. <laughs> Beautiful. You mean the din dinos? I think so. If you click on them, once they're in the cages and stuff. Delivery has been completed. Asset delivery. Yep, you can rename them on the top there. Delivery complete. Isolate your Ceratops from the other dinosaurs. Some nice music. It's basically a uh, zoo tycoon style of game, but with dinosaurs instead. Overall, I'd say our operations are improving. I'm confident we may get a handle on this yet. But I'm also concerned, specifically about our biodiversity. Still, for now, let's focus on getting the dinosaurs safe and secure. As well as building some additional viewing galleries the DFW staff can use to monitor the animals. Dinosaurs are the same species from territory around them, uh, form territory around them as they move. Uh, dinosaurs can only consider area inside the territory when determining their comfort level. Territory that is not frequently visited shrinks over time to match the latest changes to the dinosaur's environment. Ensure the Triceratops have 95% comfort. Let's see. No comfort data. Send ready team to check status. Okay. Well, let's build a... What was it? We had a ranger post. I guess we'll build that in the center here. So it covers the whole area. Um, Ranger Team, I need you to do that post too. So if you could do both of those, that would be great. Ensure the Triceratops visible from the Research Viewing Gallery. The platform provides close to the dinosaur visibility for operatives. Di dinosaurs will appeal to operatives they have been recently uh, visible. Attached. Closure. Oh, so this in this game it's now um like you have visibility for researchers, not just uh, people that want to uh, visit the park as like tourists. Interesting. Hmm, well, let's put it right about there then. I'm gonna guess it's gonna need pathing. Uh 
Oh, is it gonna fit? They improved the, the path system drastically for the first one. It's way less finicky. All right, what do you guys want? I need the ranger team to check now. All right, I'm taking control, boys. We're gonna mass spec to this. I'm gonna take control of your brain. Do it manually. Assuming control. Confirming asset stop. Check finished. Asset status confirmed. They look not happy. They look not happy with you right now, so get out of there, please. Okay, we need a um, herbivore feeder. Um. Which we don't really have. Oh, missing ground fiber. Let's see. Fiber. Uh, ground fiber. They just want to eat all the stuff on the ground there. They want to graze. Luggage with, uh... Triceratops, they eat, le they eat like leaves and stuff, so it's easy. Meat's much harder. How's that? Is that better? Ground fiber, open space, water. They want water. Hey! Stop attacking my, tr my soldiers! How dare you! Some trees around the edges. I think With we so need to... many of the animals running free, our priority has to be capturing as many of them as possible. We can coordinate our efforts from an expedition center. Get one built and we'll take it from there. Okay, let's see. Fruit and nuts. Dirt, rock, sand. Need some rocks in there to really like make the water feel a little better. How are you now, buddy? Perfect. Good. Okay, they're good. We don't want too many trees, because Triceratops just really want to rub their horns on the trees, but... Yep, $3,000 for some rocks. Trucked an operational, um... Operational Expedition Center. Um, 
Let's build it here, I guess. And we'll also need some power. I don't know if the other building's gonna need power or not. fun to play on the on console. I don't know. I've never played a game like this on console. I'm not sure how a controller would feel with it. I've only ever played with a mouse. I'll be able to track the dinosaurs, but some help would sure be appreciated. Claire tells me there are some candidates to recruit. Scientists. Hopefully you can find one as rough and tumble as I am. Scientists are key members of staff need to perform specialist tasks. Browse recruitment page to see if we at least scientists are able to recruit. Scientists have three types of skill, um, logistics, genetics, and prime gaming. Prime gaming is a rare skill only available by clicking on the sub button, linking your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, and then clicking the subscribe free in purple and getting a free sub once a month and then typing Dan W into chat. Wait, I, mis I misread that. It's, I mean, and welfare. I must have missed that, read that. I don't know. Each task is a set of skill requirements that needs to be met by the attached scientist. Uh, Oversubscribing a particular skill requirement will decrease over time and cost of the task. Pragmatic thought with five gift subs for chat. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Hmm. You might pick this game up. Um, it's hard to. It's all digital. So it's hard to like grab it and pick it up because you can't put your hands on it but you can get your hands on a free um geforce now um subscription and check out how this how games like this run on uh geforce now on your system of choice including your uh, your maybe your phone your console your old pc if you don't want to upgrade it with um, parts and play it on a three three eighty um thirty eighty um our geforce rts card in the cloud Click the link below the channel on there and check it out now. Recruit a scientist at the control center, which is over here. Uh, free, yes. There's a free account. It costs nothing. And it uses the games you already own or free to play games. So you can try it out and see if it runs on your system well. The use scientists. Let's see. 8,800 per minute, 6,100 per minute, 4,700 per minute. That's a lot of money every minute. Okay, hold on. I hold on. I. Okay, so let's see. Let's say you work eight hours in a day. Okay, that's eight times sixty. 480 minutes times $8,800. That's $4,224,000. Uh, times 40 hours a week. Times 52 weeks a year. She's making 8.7 Three eight point nine e to the ninth power monies. That's a lot. <laughs> um, reduces the altruistic salary. Reduces the salary by fifty percent. Ooh, this guy costs half because he's got the buff that does that. I'm going with the cheap guy. You see in this, Claire? Yeah, I sure am. This is our first live capture opportunity. Let's not miss it. We should assign that scientist you just hired to the task. Agreed? Uh, do you just let me click the link? Oh, yep, you click the link lets me uh, let them know that muted. I sent you. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, good idea. Uh, what do we got to lose? You know, except uh, maybe a new recruit. Urgent message. Um, 
Our operators in the field have received an uh, incident alert about a dangerous dinosaur proximity to the public in the outskirts of Las Vegas. Two hundred have been reported, and we need to send a live ca capture expedition immediately to capture and contain the threat. In Las Vegas? Send the scientists over to see live capture expedition. Okay, um, he needs two of that skill. He has that skill, so... His name's Sherlock? I love it. $50,000 to send him over there? Is he flying first class? Like, for like four people? Like, what? That's a lot of money. Before the remote capture teams return, we should have enclosures ready for the dinosaurs. Think of it as welcoming them back home. Right. Right. I'll be right back when Seth guys need a glass of water. <laughs> Stegosaurus, four of them. Give me two minutes, please. Uh oh. I don't have an enclosure ready for these guys. I'm gonna have to make one quick. Oops. Oh no. It's fine. God, ah, oh. <laughs> so bad. Let's put a gate over here.
Okay, I've never seen the second movie, so I couldn't tell you if it's like the second movie. I haven't seen the first movie now. I think about it. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. I I haven't seen it, so I wouldn't know. All right, transport the dinosaur into the park, please. Asset in transit. Asset transportation in progress. Hopefully this is big enough. Oh my god, they're flinging them everywhere. I might have to make them bigger, we'll see. They are very Asset chunky delivery. boys. Asset transportation complete. All right, let's put that in there. Okay, I need you to please check on them as well. I need you guys to check on them right now so we tell what we need to put in the cage. Okay. Who's watching who? I'm not following you, Owen. Well, it's just like the dinosaurs are always watching us. So shouldn't we be watching them? Yes, we should. Once we have the dinosaurs comfortably settled into their enclosures, we'll need viewing galleries. That's what I'm saying. Only you said it. Status update. Check. We're still going to make viewing... How many people have died to us trying to turn dinosaurs into amusement parks? But no, let's just keep doing that. I'm sure it'll go fine this time, right? This time it'll be fine. All right, let's see. Open space. We need water, ground fruit, and ground fiber. All right, let's add a little bit of water. Is that enough water? Yes. Yes. Okay, now I need ground fruit. Let's see. Ground fruits. And then ground fiber. How you doing now? Need um just a little bit more ground fruit, and then they will be super happy with us. Perfect. Miss the Halloween emotes? Well, Christmas emotes will be coming up in the near future. If you're uh, looking forward to that. In game music, yes. Okay, I need a research viewing gallery again. And then that should be good. No, actually, it's not in-game music. I'm just sitting here playing the piano for you. Oh. 
Trying to get you guys to dance. Owen. Owen. We have a real problem. I'm trying, Clara, but it's just... Well, this is who I am. Not you. Ah, the dinosaurs. Tell me something I don't know. Okay, how about this? There's a massive sandstorm headed our way, and it could wipe out the facility. What? Without power, the safety of the dinosaurs could be at serious risk. Okay, listen to me, Claire. We'll figure this out. Have I ever let you down before? Actually, yeah. no. And I'm planning on keeping it that way. Everything we can do, we will do. We've survived worse. What's a little sand? Oh, God. Oh, it, it is coming in, isn't it? Din it, din it, din it, din it. That's the wrong song. I haven't heard the it in such a long time. Uh oh. Oh god. What are we gonna do? do, 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 do? as I'd obviously love to help out. I'm a little tied up. So, who's gonna protect the dinosaurs? And the personnel. Yes, of course. I mean, that goes without saying. I'm saying it anyway. It's just, it would be a tragedy to lose these animals again. And by tragedy, I mean huge financial loss. And obviously an embarrassment to those in charge of the DFW. People such as you? Uh, well, actually, exactly me. So, how do we avoid that? Okay, step one, round up the stragglers back up. and all the dinosaurs back into their enclosures. Damn it, he got out! Our safety rings. This good? Yes, Shit! This is a plan I can support now uh -oh. and take credit for later. <laughs> Repair it, damn it. We have an emergency. Open your emergency shutters during dangerous storms or dinosaur escape before it hits your safety rating. Tranquilize each rain page dinosaur quickly using aim mode or lock on. Transport dinosaurs back to enclosures before they wake up again. Remember, dinosaurs can damage or destroy a section of your enclosed fence, leaving an open breach. Uh, select the response team using R and use the range team manually to initiate pairs or sign pair tasks that carry. Ah! Uh. Oh god, I got it. There he is! Hold on! Gotcha. Not today, Satan. Alright, he's down. Okay, quickly transport back into his damn cage. Any other repairs? I think we're fine, chat. We got this. It's okay. He's just having a little bit of a nap. Go ahead and <laughs> gentle, gentle. Got swing. <laughs> God, give him whiplash. God damn. Don't wake up with it like all tossy turvy. Have you seen the video of the of the lady getting transported by helicopter and? They decided to take her up what, by like a string and it just, she kept spinning and spinning and spinning and sp And it's, it's probably horrifying for that woman, but my God, if I did not die laughing watching that, because it was so funny. It, it was so freaking funny. I'm, she's okay. 
she she did get she left she got like uh she lost consciousness and had a little bit of a little shook it up but she's okay now and she sued them so you know good for her but my god i was dying laughing as she was going so fast I mean, she has every right to do that. I was like, she, she was like going at G4 speed. <laughs> she was an older lady. It was a terrible plan. That was like malpractice. They were, it was stupid what they were doing. They didn't like, didn't like keep her tied up or anything. I don't know. It was, they, it was a dumb way to transport her, and she was spinning so fast. Yeah, she G4 grandma. <laughs> Arizona was secure. The dinosaurs were safe. Finch and the DFW had what they needed to keep the bureaucrats off our backs. For now. But the future? That was something completely different. Campaign Washington. I wish we'd had more time to brief you, but as you know, the situation is fluid. Our Canadian friends are concerned that many of these wild animals are getting close to their border. We'd like to prevent them from crossing it. We being the CIA. My division is the DSD, Dangerous Species Division. I'm Dr. Dua. I have an extensive background in paleo research in this very field. At Jurassic World, and now, other locations I'm not at liberty to discuss. However, I have history with many of the people involved here. A poacher camp. What remains of it, anyway? Amateurs. They only succeeded in getting themselves and others killed. And making our job that much more difficult. Dr. Dua, the dinosaurs are still agitated. Tranquilizing them would appear to be the best option at this point. Let's do it as safely and quickly. I just watched the video. It's freaking 3 a.m. here, and I must have woken up my neighbors that hard to laugh. <laughs> it is very yes, funny. Approach the dinosaur and use to lock on to target. Shrink gunner has a clear shot. Lock on. Fire trunk gunner drives some dinosaurs car by the water. Clear shot. Oh, lock on mode's nice. That way you don't have to be good at plant at aiming. Get them, boys. Just as an organization has key players, <coughs> me. <coughs> It also has key facilities that it needs to run effectively. So you should get started with the construction of an arrival building, a control center, and also a backup generator to supply power. Shouldn't we have had that built before we... Um, do you mean I have to build around these dinosaurs that are just... Tranquilized on the ground there? Okay. I'm sure that's fine. Operation, arrival point, control center. Okay, um. I personally would have built the park before I decided to, um. Yeah, this, these are a poacher camp, so they were doing bad things to these creatures, so. They're assholes, and it's okay to steal from assholes. Well, let's put the control center right there. Arrival point. Put that one over here. Hey, 
and a response facility. Put those away from the guests. Put it over here. And paleo medical facility. She put she put her there so we can jump. Somewhat near the other facility. And let's demolish all of this. That is not a proper exposure. What's that? Oh, hey, Bill. You're trying to build a facility? Yeah. Sleep. There's a sleep. Two big sleeping dinosaur. Yeah, it'll be. They'll be fine. They won't wake up. Yeah, you got plenty of time to build the whole building. They'll. They'll just be sleeping the whole time. How long does that last again? It'll take them three hours to finish. Two hours? Bill, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be, just keep working fast, all right? It's gonna be great. Uh-oh. They'll be, they'll be fine. I'm sure they'll get, they can work fast. Maybe. Hmm, I don't like that. Demolish that. Put the response facility. Over here next to the operations. And let's build some power. And some power over here that will also hit the enclosure we're going to be building in a little while. There should be a move building option. That would be nice. Oh, you can move it. Oops, that would have saved me a lot of money. <laughs> okay, then. Um, so I gotta build an enclosure quickly. Let's see, fences. I don't know how much space these guys need, so I'm just gonna have to guess. close to the dinosaur. Sir, I'm trying to build... Okay, back up a little bit. I'm gonna have to... Go just a wee bit in front of him. That's definitely an enclosure shape there. You just had your first um, practice, uh, first actual practice coaching today. It went well. That's awesome. You set up all your action figures and pretend like they were a baseball team or something. I'm just teasing. I'm teasing.
In water, what? Everything's connected or it will not work. These games have to have passed every building because otherwise it does like doesn't know how to work. Not bad if I do say so myself. And I guess I am. But we're also going to need a response facility. Your response to this directive should be to get one built. Huh? You see what I did there? Huh? <laughs> response, response. <laughs> Uh, never mind. Don't uh -huh. respond. Uh -huh. That was so funny. Blair, we need to get the dinosaurs into new holding enclosures. The ones we've already captured. Yep, that's right. And we'll want them awake and as comfortable as possible. You mean the closure I already built? Okay, uh, let me transport them. Collecting asset. Set like ten feet. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that's like hundred thousand dollars just moving ten feet. Okay, we need a um ranger post. Asset has been collected. We'll put right inside the door here. Mm -hmm. Asset delivered. Let's have it run that way. Asset has been delivered. Gorgeous. That causes me physical pain. That one. Oof. Okay, fixed. Gosh, I think we can do it even cleaner. Do a little bit of that. All right, Ranger team, you are to investigate that. I'm gonna go ahead and do you right now. Manually. It looks cold out here, yet these people are still not bundled up like for cold weather. I don't know what they're doing. That is not the binoculars, sir. Okay, there you go. Asset has been checked. Missing prey. Well, I think that problem has been solved. Get out of there. Get out of there. Forming territory. They need sand and prey. Okay then, so let's do, um... We need sand. Probably not stuff. They probably want sand instead. Okay, well that didn't... Do, that did not help. Okay, we need some... Pray now. We need more water too. Okay, 
prey. Live prey feeder. Uh-oh. Influence comfort. Open space. So they don't care about foliage at all. So let's get them... some trees and stuff around here. I don't know if they can survive in snow, but apparently they can. <laughs> Let's get a research viewing gallery. where the snow is to try to get it less snowy if possible. They had dangerous animals here? Correct, Mr. Finch. We know where they were. But now, Mr. Grady, it's essential that we know where they are. I know my dinosaurs. I'd say they're headed off in this direction. Do you know your dinosaurs, Mr. Grady? Better than anyone. But these are not your dinosaurs, per se. Well, you're just gonna have to trust me on this one. Thank you, Anja. Yeah, again, we're not playing this game, this, this new release promising. game, uh, Jurassic World yeah, Evolution 2, not on my PC. Anything. We're playing on uh, GeForce Now. If you guys would like to try out GeForce Now, see how it runs on your system, uh, or your device, even your, your phone. Um, click the link below the channel. It'll show you all the platforms it's available on. They have a free membership where you can play in one-hour sessions. A the first one you pay for, which is uh, six-hour sessions, then the newly launched 3080 uh, membership that gives you eight-hour sessions. Type exclamation point GFN to um, check out um, if the the uh, product below the channel. Sorry, my braid is fuzzy today. There you go. So we gotta find these. I'll move out a link in there. Oh God! Oh shit! I found it! Oh my God! What the fuck? We're fine. I am a professional. That was all part of the plan. That was also they part of the plan. The dinosaurs, but they're not so. Wherever they go, they leave a mark. Sounds like someone I know. Is it Dr. Malcolm? Because that guy, he is out there. Talk about an ego. Hmm. As opposed to... Well, you know, a certain lovable animal behaviorist whose humility has a charm of its own. Whoa. Let's find the other one. I feel like we are getting close. Where is he? Some thick trees. It's not that little thing, is it? No. Some big uh, stegosaurus over there. Where is he? Just be ready for anything, all right? Where 
Where the hell is it? This is a massive uh, map. Oh God! Owen, Owen, are you okay? What is happening? A little busy right now. Please tell me you have things under control. Do you want me to lie? If it'll calm my anxiety, yes. I'm a bundle of raw nerves. We're working the problem. We have a helicopter standing by. Uh oh. Okay, this is fine. Um, let's see. Main volume up. Lower music and sound effects. And they'll attempt to tranquilize the animal from the air. Attempt? Attempt? <laughs> we need success, Dr. Dua, before it can eat Grady and the others. No, please don't say that. You believe in the team, right? You want me to lie? <laughs> He's such an asshole. I like it. Shoot him! Shoot ha! Shoot ha! Got him! Got him again! Owen, what's our status? Close. Keep everything almost under control, but the animal is injured. We need to get her to a securing Making sure. I'll notify Dr. Dua. Oh, me? I'm fine. Just Thanks making first. sure. Alright, so now we need to get this thing in a... Wow, they listen to the players. The, these maps in the second game are drastically larger. They are much, much, much bigger. That thing's not waking up. You'll wake up eventually. He's just temporarily sleepy. I gave him a little bit of a, I gave him a small dose. And the herbivores? What about them? As long as they stay away from civilization, leave them in place. They'll survive in the wilderness without our intervention, right? Given time to adapt? Yes, I'd say they will. I guess that's something we're all going to have to get used to. Having dinosaurs out in the world. Is that you talking, or is that the government? Claire, I am the government. I am the Senate. <laughs> I'm going to have to demolish these here. Hold on. What? Yes. I told you, when I'm distracting chat with the game, you execute Order 66. Thank you. Do not fail me again. Uh, sorry, I had to mute my mic for a second there, guys. Ah, mm, oh, we're back now, though. Go across there. It's gonna be a very large enclosure for our little friend. Who looks like he would like a large enclosure because he's a diva. Alright, so let's transport our friend from all the way over here. Where'd he go? 
There he is. Okay, transport him from there. Woo! Over in there. Part route to pick up the asset. No, we're not part of a cult. We're just we're just like to wear matching robes is all. We just coordinate our clothing. Now go ahead and demolish. Thanks. There we go. And we could go ahead and put the uh, fence right here. Asset. That we can put over here easily and cover that whole cage. Okay, you are going to please look at that one. Is it gonna kill other dinosaurs in there? Uh oh. I didn't notice there was one in there. Assuming control. All right, get ready. Fire. Oh, I'm gonna have to do it myself. He's not lit. Uh oh. He's not cooperating. I'm trying to save your life, sir. You're gonna get eaten. I don't think we can hit him. Like he's not, we can't target him. I uh, tried to save him. That's his fault. I also can't click on him, so maybe he's not actually there. Who's not in a cult? Not, there's no cult here. Just because we type Dan cult and all look the same and chant a little bit doesn't mean as we're a cult. We're just a club that has a uniform. Fine. I need a status check on our friend here. Let me go ahead and see what we got going on over here. Uh oh. Undiagnosed ailment. Send MVU to perform medical scan. Sorry. Fellas. All right, we need to. Whoa! You need you need to calm down, Missy. What the hell? Jeez! Relax. Go ahead and put that there. Okay, open space. Good. We need forest. Let's put some forest in here. Doesn't look very foresty to me. Oh, there's forest. Literally a forest. Okay, we need a little bit more water. So let's add a little bit of water here. Have a 
go over there a little bit. Okay, we're good. He's he's happy now. Okay, medical team. Let's go. Let's go save our friend here. Hello, folks. Sorry. Hi, ma'am. Sorry about that. Sorry. Let's go save our dinosaur friend over here. All right. What's wrong with you? Diagnosis complete. Fracture. Okay. Stop it. I'm trying to help you. Take your medicine. He is safely enclosed. He is, though. Isn't he? Or is he not? He should be fine. Okay, major fracture. Cause attack. Tranquilize transport to Paleo... Oh, we got to transfer him to fix his fracture. Okay. So, let me get my friend over here. Not that guy. The other one. Fire! Got him. Okay, let's let's transport him to the facility so that way he can get healed. We'll have Sherlock do it. Uh oh. I need three. I gotta hide another scientist. Okay, route to transport. The asset. okay we gotta buy another um scientist. Someone that's good at healing people. He's three out of six. I'll take that. So expensive, though. So expensive. How do I assign the scientist over here? Asset being transported. Oh my god, they're transporting him. He's going on a little ride. Oh, you said some stuff, Julia? Well, thank you. Where am I? I shall take a look at it later when I have my food. Check look at it over here. Let's see. Oh my god, they look great, Julia. The I Christmas emotes. Woo! Alright, let's see. Assign scientist. Let's have him do it. Half a million dollars to repair his bones. Wow. Holy. That's expensive. Jeez. Okay, 
Better be worth it. Let's see. Let's add some nice trees through here. Those aren't nice trees. How about these? Can't quite fit trees in a lot of these places, but that's okay. Doing it where I can. That's costing money though, isn't it? Yes. Not too much. The fill to make it look nice. X me out with the 14 month resub. Yes, thank you very much. That tree right there is bothering me. Okay, it's gone. Are, are you fixed yet? 22 seconds. Sazroth, redeem 20 gift subs for chat. Let's do that right now. Fuel supplies? Where do we get fuel? It's very ironic that we're running on fossil fuels and have the dinosaurs alive that are in those fossils. It's very like, huh. That's so meta. It's like, what? Okay. All right, dinosaur. Well, let's put you back now that you're all healed. Okay, that costs half a million dollars to heal this thing. Better get some serious profit from this. Careful. And it looks like he's going to be fine. We have touchdown. Asset transported. Oops, dinosaur couldn't handle the snow. It died immediately. Oops, sorry. Tropical animal? My bad. Sorry. Oops. I was getting something. Missing forest. No, oh, he wants more forest, huh? Add a little more forest for him. That's what he wants, that's what he gets. But he also wants open space. Make up your mind, sir. He wants open space and he wants forest. Okay, I'm gonna build this a little more. I just need some water and then you'll be fine. Let's go a little bit less. Now 
now he's happy. not so happy. A little less forest. He wants a little less forest. Back it off. Okay, a little less water even. Okay, just a little tiny bit less forest, and it'll be perfect. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Whew. Now it's perfect. Flawless. He's super picky about... There's one too many trees! Bam! Okay. That's the right amount of tree. No more, no less. Exactly that many trees. I'm gonna kill somebody. He's damn mad. No, he's yelling. Like, mad. Okay. Oh, there's a live goat in there. Get him to hunt. Um, ensure La Source is safely enclosed. Is he... Is he not? Like, he's in here. I don't know what else they would want. Maybe let's ch paint the ground to have grass instead. This is a lot Laliosaurus. That's the right animal. Oh. How do I get rid of that? <laughs> that thing's bugged and I can't get rid of it, unfortunately. See, that other dino is just bugged and is not supposed to be in this enclosure. And I can't seem to get rid of There he is. Okay, hold up. Wait. Run away. What?
Yeah, I'm... I don't know if he's... Yeah, I don't know. Something is bugged. I don't know what's going on. Got him. Ah. All right, let's transport him from this gate to this Hard one. Route to pick up the asset. And then it'll be fine. Yeah, something weird's happening. It won't like, it won't move on to the next step. I'm hoping if I take him out and put him back in, it'll fix it, maybe. Otherwise, this quest is bugged. Yeah, this thing right here is glitched and can't be accessed at all. Hopefully, if I put him back down, it'll uh, be better. Or it's just glitched and it's not going to go forward. Asset has been delivered. has the right amount of space. Well, maybe if we give him as much space as possible. I give him just a wee bit. Maybe it's just like point just off by a smidge. If I give him just a little tiny bit more space, he'll be like, ah, that's just right. Let's go ahead and save. And then let's load the save. Has you yes, just said with the medical building about it healing it without the game telling you? Oh, like it didn't like properly trigger the next phase? That can sometimes happen. Probably just a little bit of a bug. Should be fine. That dinosaur is not in there anymore. Okay, well it's 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 counting down now. Congrats on your sponsor. Well, thank you. GeForce Now is an easy sponsor because it's a nice product. And you don't even have to take my word on it. My word for it. You can try it for yourself, absolutely free, with games you already own or free-to-play games. 
uh, click the link below the channel down there or in the exclamation point GFN um, command to check out GeForce Now for yourself. They have uh, free accounts where you can just try a game and you don't have to install it. You just have to just play it and it, it just works because it installs on a computer somewhere else and then streams to your device. I'm going to need a paleomedical facility to assess the status of the dinosaur that they're bringing in. We'll need to do a full medical scan. I want to understand what went wrong if we're going to avoid an event like this in the future. More like what actually what went right. Nothing went wrong. Everything went wrong. Okay, let's see. Use the Institute of Dinos. Dinosaur using medical scan. Major injuries require a special treatment in the facility. Sign sign to treat the injury while dinosaur at the paleo facility. Part of the healing process is to get some rest. Preferably someplace comfortable. Always works for me. Same for the dinosaurs, I'd imagine. You imagine correctly. Not according to my ex. Hmm. Yes, moving on then. We want to have the animal transported and then secure and comfortable in its enclosure, if you please. Well, let me try... Putting... Uh-uh. Oh, mission done! We'd worked to make sure the dinosaurs would thrive in the forest. At first, I believed this was for the best. Then we realized that forest makes up about one-fifth of the total land mass in the U.S. and almost 40% of Canada's wilderness. Working together with the DFW and the CIA, we made the dinosaurs feel right at home. In. The. Forest. Yeah. I really hope the powers that be know what they're doing. Because the dinosaurs definitely do. Right. Yeah, if, you, if you're interested in checking out what devices are supported by GF now, it's not quite every device, but they're working on it. Um, the quickly, only blue channel, way check to fly, out if it's right? available on what you want to play Private. on. Private. Away from the hubbub of the public. That's no pretty. No crying eyes asking wordless questions. I don't feel much like answering. <laughs> now, call me crazy. You wouldn't be the first, <laughs> but we need to centralize our operations, and that's why I've chosen this location. Well, okay, I didn't choose it myself, but I was part of the process. <laughs> I mean, I got the memo. The Appalachians have long been a place where people can kind of disappear, whether on their own or with the help of someone else. So, why not the dinosaurs? That is gorgeous. It's so pretty. Pull a few strings, grease a few palms, oh my God, twist a beautiful. few arms, and bang! Just like that, the Department of Fish and Wildlife has a new base of operations. Now, we'll need to hit the ground running if we're going to have this place ready for something it hasn't dealt with in 65 million years. The bare bones are established. But before the ones covered in flesh and blood arrive, we'll need it fully functioning. Owen and Claire are already on site. They'll have more info for you. Dr. Dua will be coordinating your activities. And me. I'll be managing expectations and staying an arm's length away from the meat of sources. <laughs> oh, wait. Arm's length is probably not the best choice of words. We may need some additional hands on this one. Mr. Lambert? Standing by and ready to go. Just give the word. George Lambert is an expert ranger who worked with us in the islands and is now with the DFW. He and Owen will deal with the dinosaurs, while we address the facilities. There are a number of animals from your previous captures that will be coming your way soon. Delays are unacceptable. Understood. We'll start with the construction of animal enclosures. We'll catch them, you keep them. Uh, can we not do that and just say we did? Ugly though. 
Is John Hammond in this? No. I think that actor died? I want to say. He was a little bit older when it came out in 1993. Yeah, so it's been... he. Unfortunately, he died. Yeah. And even at... He had a lavish funeral. And they literally spared no expense. Square fence. Square fences are boring. Give me two minutes, please. Okay, we're gonna go for a. Uh... Terrible. Why is it so off on that side? so much farther. It's like not even remotely even. Okay, back up, back up. I don't think... I, can you do rounded enclosures in this? I don't... Let's see. Oh, toggle curve. I didn't even see that button the whole time. Okay, there's a toggle curve button. Did not see that. Two more minutes. Um. You know, few times do I feel fury as much as when the alarm clock goes, goes off when I'm in a deep sleep and enjoying my dream. Oh, I get so mad. That is rage inducing. Like when you're in, in a good sleep and having a good dream and that damn alarm starts going off. Oh, primal fury comes out. It's hard to explain that just like that you feel towards that device that's making all that noise. You're just trying to get some sleep. What do I dream of? I dream of a world where everyone subscribes to Prime Gaming. Everyone remembers to type Kappa in the chat. There is no DRM. All games are great and finished at launch. 
DLC is quality content added to the game. And I dream of a world where GeForce Now has free memberships for everybody. Oh wait, that already exists. If you guys want to check out GeForce Now, click the link below the channel and in chat under the GFN command. Try out this service for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Try it out yourself. See how you like it. Transit has commenced. Legend of Geek, thank you for the two months that will need food and housing. I'd also suggest keeping a close eye on these dinosaurs oh. until they settle into their surroundings. Lambert's right. They've had a taste of the wild. Confinement may not sit well with them. Okay. We make no assumptions and pay attention to all the details. Good. Remember, just like us, the dinosaurs are always learning. And you need to keep that in mind as you build another dinosaur habitat. Safety first, for them and us. Get it built, then get the dinosaurs into the new enclosure. That about cover it, Doc? Perfectly. Okay, that enclosure makes me mad. Okay, but it's okay. Let's get the uh, ranger post in here to cover the whole thing. Let's have um, you, please. Go check on those guys. All right, and then I'm sure they have comfort. If I remember correctly, they wanted, um, I think, sand. So let's make sure we have lots of sand for them. Sand everywhere. They don't like grass, they like sand. I think they also liked, um... They wanted a live prey. They want a little bit of water, probably in the center here. Terrain constraint. Oh. Probably too much water. Sir, you didn't do a scan. I told you to scan and you didn't even do your job. Now I gotta do it for myself. So you're living in uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land in your dream? No, if I was in Cloud Cuckoo Land, I'd probably be going, Kaka! 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 You know? Reporting after all right, let's see. What What are you missing? Water, sand, prey, open space. Oh, they're, they're happy. They're like happy clams now. Not a little bit of forest just for funsies, but they don't really need it. It's mostly for prettiness. Still, still comfy? Yep, they, they comfy. Neighbors are probably like, what the hell is happening? Is he calling? What is, is there a bird in there? What is going on? Uh, Mr. Bite with the um, 69 month resub. Nice. Damn nice. Uh, just moved 92 thing for the 63 month resub. Six months away from your damn nice sub. <laughs> Let's see. Population 2, open space. They're happy as can be. Now we have an Allosaurus coming. Okay. Let me remember what he wanted. He wanted lots of open space.
Okay, let's get his enclosure going. We'll make it pretty big. He's a pretty beefy boy. Something like that. Back it up. Not quite, not quite enough. Right about there should be better. And then we'll give her this little nub right there. Okay, and then he wanted lots of forest. But before I do that, let's give him a little water. He wanted a little bit of water in the center. We'll give him plenty of forest. He likes lots of forest in his biome. But he also wanted lots of open space, too, so we did. Asset being transported. I'm not sure I'll ever be fully comfortable at the park, but the lab coats want to make sure the dinosaurs are, so <laughs> that's a job you should stay on top of. I would love to. Let's add a little bit of water. On the edge of the forest right there. And then let's add... Oh yeah, Skyrim turned 10 years old today. That's pretty cool. I think I have like 100 hours in that game. Let me see. Asset has been oh, I can't put the game into my system. But I'll do that later. I think I have like almost 2,000 hours in that game. Oops. That's a lot. That's scientists. Let's do rank team at task. Back up. Yeah, Skyrim is 10 years old and it's been released about 10 times. So, yay. Our dinosaur friend in the woods somewhere. And then somewhere. Hiding in the forest. The really, really thick forest. God, there's some thick trees. Dinosaur! I know you're in here. supposed to get to God you're being rude Okay, I had to get to you. Sorry, excuse me dinosaurs. There he is.
All right, now I can finally see his, his place. He needs a live feeder, for one. He's, he's hangry, which is understandable. Man wants some food. I, I can understand that. Now everything else is perfect. He's great. The perfect enclosure for him. He's super happy now. Sometimes you just gotta give the man what he wants. A little bit of food. Whoa! What the f Oh my, how do you? Emergency! Emergency, we have a slight emergency. Asset oh my god. Get up! Ah! Okay. I gave him um, a direct dose of grandma stories. And that got him. They were very boring, very long. About old stuff no one cares about. What the hell was that for? Like, let me just break my thing? He was perfectly happy and content, and then all of a sudden he's like, you know what? Screw that. I'm rebelling. Okay, get the hell back in there. Collecting asset. Jeez. He heard about the removal of the YouTube dislike button. Well, then he disliked that. Okay, get back in there. That is so, I bet companies complain that we don't like that people can see how much this is disliked. Well, you need to remove this button. Transportation. Uh, we're in the campaign which is teaching us how to play. It's not really sandbox yet. So far it seems like they have a lot more they they have a lot more gameplay in this one. The first game is very light on the gameplay part. It was mostly just you you build the enclosure, put the animal in it, and then just kinda There wasn't a ton more to do. There was you know, there's stuff to do, but it felt very shallow and not very like the manager part of the stuff felt kinda weak. It feels better so far, I think. Asset delivered. Asset Delivered. They still piss about the dislikes in the rewind video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens. How far in the game am I? We're on like the third mission, just just teaching us how to how to uh, play. Oh, thank you, Julia. Yeah, Christmas fi everything. I'll, I'll I'll get you paid for all of it. Don't worry. Uh, let's see. Okay, happy? You good? The dinosaurs seem to be taking to their new surroundings. I want to make sure they are doing more than surviving. However, we need the animals thriving. As I'm sure you understand, our research is more valuable when we have superior specimens in their optimal conditions. So I want you to get a science center built and operational. This means more scientists will be needed, so build a staff center as well. Ultimately, science is about the data we collect and analyze. Rubbish in, rubbish out. We want to avoid that at all costs. Especially when you consider the investment that has already been made in these dinosaurs. The CIA wants results, and we're going to get them. Period. Full stop. End of story. Might well, be funny the credits roll just said end of story. Like, oh. <laughs> Alright, well, let's make sure you guys are covered there. 
Avoid rubbish. Got it. That looks better. Uh, Science Center, Staff Center, Paleo Medical Facility. Okay, let's see. Facility... Science Center. I like science. Science is very damn bright. Medical lawsuit. But right about there. And we're probably going to want a power station over here someplace. That, that's a lot of buildings. to be fixed. Gorgeous. Lambert here. We could really use an expedition center. Get one built. Click the button and build it? Sure. 